Jade, can you explain how a guy who's in a concussion protocol for three days sets an SEC single game total offense record? God, no, that's that's pretty much it. You know, I can't I can't even explain that honestly. You know, um, <clears throat> just how how you created me. You know, being able to just be tough. You know, and get through stuff quickly. Um, you know, it was my first concussion, so you know, just doing everything that they said I needed to do, uh, progress daily. So you know, it just worked out. Jaden in the back, just t take us through what you see out there. Obviously, coach talked about your patience and you know your willingness to to wait and. But then when you do see it open it up, what are, you, what are you thinking when you have those moments? Um, <clears throat> when I do see it open up, you know, scoring, you know, trying to be more smart when I run. But, um, you know, there's times where I'm, I'm able to, you know, squeak through somebody, you know, we call it split two, um, be able to split two, you know, uh, get a couple more yards or potentially score. So, um, you know, that, that's kind of what I, what I think when I'm, I'm sitting back there. You know, I, I tend to be – I try to be more patient back there, you know, let things open up. Um, let guys open up down the field, but if I see a, a run lane, you know, I, I'm going to take it, just be decisive about it. Jane, right here. Um, Coach talked about, you know, your week of preparation, the mental reps you took and everything. Can you kind of walk us through what this week was like for you and maybe the transition from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and kind of knowing what could happen this weekend? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was rough. Um, you know, Monday, you know, we usually have – things, you know, be able to, to watch the film from the last game, um, you know, scouting report on the next team. And I wasn't able to be a part of that. Um, you know, obviously, you know, things was bothering me and stuff like that. So uh, Tuesday came and, you know, kind of just try to stay in the same routine. Um, you know, they're limiting me uh, as much as possible, but uh, I still try to figure out ways, you know, still to uh, keep my same routine, you know, watch film, you know, just stay consistent. And then uh, Tuesday helped out a lot, you know, uh, be able to see Garrett and uh, Ricky go out there and, and practice, but also being behind, you know, getting mental reps and, you know, watching the practice film. Um, just just being dialed in, you know, as much as possible. And then, you know, Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday allowed me to practice um, a little bit. So, you know, once you get physical reps, uh, you know, just trying to make the most of it, you know, every rep I got. Jaden, right here in the back. Do you feel like tonight was your Heisman moment? You've had a lot of great games this season, but was tonight your Heisman moment to the nation to tell them I'm the best player in the country? Um, I mean, I, I'll say so, uh, you know, as humbly as possible. But, you know, just, you know, I, I just give thanks to, you know, God and my teammates because without them I wouldn't be in this situation. Over here, Jaden. Uh, tonight you became the first player in FBS history to uh, finish a game with 350 passing yards, 200 rushing yards. Also joined Johnny Manziel as just the second player in SEC history to finish the game with 200 passing yards, 200 rushing yards. Just what are your initial thoughts on that? Um, you know, I, I can't do it on my own. Uh, you know, some things I'm able to do on my own, but, uh, you know, O-line got to block. You know, running backs got to do what they got to do. Um, and receivers got to make plays. You know, I'm just back there just trying to, you know, get them the ball, uh, let them do what they do. Um, you know, online does a, they're doing an incredible job, you know, up front, you know, just dominating the, the opponent. Uh, you and Garrett were having some fun with the, the Heisman <laughs> Trophy. Uh, are, are you taking the attitude, hey, I'm just going to have some fun with this and whatever happens, happens with yeah. it? Or Yeah, I mean, most definitely, that's what you got to do. Um, you got to control what you can control. Uh, and one thing I can control is how, how I approach each and every week. Uh, you know, how I practice and how I play. Um, and then from there, you know, I, I can't make those decisions. Two more for Jay. Jay, in your 51-yard run in particular, y'all are just, um, Florida just taking the lead for the first time. Can you take us through that play? And did you actually intentionally look off the linebacker before escaping? <laughs> um, yeah, I was kind of in between if I was going to dump it down to Josh or, um, <clears throat> you know, run. So I seen the linebacker, you know, make his move, and then I just – Counter, counter off of that, basically, you know, was able to run and then, uh, you know, split two guys and be able to score. So, um, you know, some some things I can't explain what I do. Uh, you know, I'll just be in the moment, honestly, but I just know before and I was just uh, seeing what the linebacker was going to do. Your, uh, your 85-yard run, I mean, just describe that play. Also, just could you feel the guy behind you? And, I mean, sometimes guys have to look at the replay boards to see where guys are behind them. Tell me – what you did in that play? Um, you know, uh, the DN crash and, you know, Malik, he threw a, a great block, and, you know, to allow me to get down the sideline. From there, uh, my whole thought process was just don't get caught. So, um, you know, 
I started getting tired a little bit at the end. But, you know, one thing, I just, I just didn't want to get caught because if I did, I was going to hear it for the, for the rest of the week.